Hello my dear students, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are going to discuss about dual nature of matter and radiation. So last class we learned about what is meant by electron emission and types of electron emission we learned and photoelectric effect. What is meant by photoelectric emission that and all we learned. Right? In that experimental study only we were doing. So in uh, experimental study we discussed about the variation of intensity and number of photoelectrons emitted or photo current. That is intensity of radiation and number of photoelectrons emitted will be directly proportional. Right? This is intensity and this is the number of photoelectrons or photo current also you can see okay photo current uh, or number of photo electrons are directly proportional to each other as the intensity increases number of photo electrons increases next we learned about the variation between the potential and photo current so here this is here about the potential potential and this is photo current or number of photo electrons emitted so we can see that uh, frequency and uh, if while we are increasing the potential what will happen after a particular value this is remaining same okay then again it is decreasing and coming to a when we are decreasing the potential the number of photoelectric uh, photo current or number of photoelectrons emitted also decreases and coming to a minimum value this is called a stopping potential represented as V0 that is minimum negative potential required for the photoelectrons to stop no more photoelectrons will be entering to the next plate or the positive plate so here this is a constant value this is called a saturation current okay saturation current so yeah, while while i am increasing the intensity this is for a frequency new one okay then i am uh, 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 a particular frequency and here next what i am doing is i am increasing the intensity this is not about the frequency i1 while i am increasing the intensity the number of photo electrons emitted also increases but the photo the saturation potential remains constant while we are increasing the intensity we can see that the number of photo electrons emitted also will increase and but the stopping potential will remain same there is no change in stopping potential value okay for a particular frequency here we considered about a particular frequency so these two uh, experimental observations we found out then next we are going to find the variation of frequency and the photo current okay how the as the frequency varies what will happen to the number of photo electrons photo current so i am taking a particular um, frequency in a particular intensity okay intensity remaining same if intensity remaining same whether the photo electric photo current will vary no we are changing the frequency of radiation same intensity different frequencies so for a particular frequency new one i got a value like this so here the saturation current remains constant number of photo electron remain constant this is for the frequency new one okay so i am getting a uh, value as v01 for the next frequency light so next i am using a particular uh, light of uh, fre another frequency new to okay for that the intensity is remaining same so the number of photo electrons or photo current is not changing over here this is photo current and this is the potential okay so here photo current remains the same since the frequency remains since the intensity remains same but the frequency is changing therefore it we are getting a different stopping potential stopping potential will be varying as the frequency changes 
okay as the intensity changes number of photoelectrons emitted also will be increasing as the frequency changes stopping potential will change that is as the frequency increases according to that the more negative charge will be required more electrons will be going to the other side so v02 this is nu1 this is for nu2 nu2 greater than nu1 so as the frequency increases the negative stopping potential value also will be increasing okay negative value also will be increasing as the frequency increases if i am representing a graph uh, with the stopping potential and frequency okay if i am taking a graph in uh, with the stopping potential and frequency this is here it is potential and this is frequency we will be getting a straight line graph as frequency increases stopping potential also will be increasing okay here uh, th this is how uh, see how we can represent this stopping potential value is depending on the frequency okay if stopping potential depend on frequency then the kinetic energy of the electron which is emitted also will be depending on the frequency right because as the stopping potential means afterwards no electrons will be moving to the other side that means as the frequency varying according to that kinetic energy of the electron also will be varying kinetic energy of the electron which is emitted from the metal surface depends on the frequency okay so as the uh, uh, frequency varying kinetic energy also will be varying it is independent of intensity of uh, radiation so if the light ray is incidenting of particular frequency that particular frequency uh, uh, that uh, frequency is known as we know we always say it is a light ray of particular frequency is incidenting and the electron is emitting so minimum energy required or minimum frequency required for the electron to come out from the metal surface minimum frequency that is called as threshold frequency okay that will be called as threshold frequency in the threshold uh, so the minimum energy required for the electron to come out from the metal surface is called as work function how much of minimum energy is required for the electron to take out the metal uh, to take out the electron from the metal surface that is called as work function okay so these are the important points here in the photoelectric emission experimental observation so the first one is as the intensity increases according to that number of photoelectrons also will increase okay when we are increasing the potential after a particular value the number of photoelectron won't change that is saturation current while we are decreasing the potential at a particular negative value photoelectrons will be decreasing and after a particular uh, potential the uh, no photoelectrons will come to the other other plate a right so that is called as stopping potential then next is we found out the variation between frequency and photo current as the frequency increases stopping potential varying as the photo for frequency increases stopping potential also will be increasing both are directly proportional to each other clear so the kinetic energy of the uh, emitted electron is depending on the frequency kinetic energy of the emitted electron is depending on the frequency it is not depending on the intensity of incident radiation and the law, last law of this photoelectric emission is it is an instantaneous process okay so a minimum frequency is so these are the point that you should remember uh, keep that in mind that is minimum energy required is called as threshold frequency it is in intensity depends on the number of photoelectrons and frequency is depending on the stopping potential and which depends on the kinetic energy of the radiation and then it is an instantaneous process okay so these are the important experimental observation in photoelectric emission next we are going to study about einstein's photoelectric equation so next is einstein's photoelectric equation okay so here photoelectric equation 
So Einstein's photoelectric equation is explained on the basis of quantum theory. So what is uh, meant by this quantum theory? Here we are considering the light as packets of energy or quanta. Okay, we will be considering the light energy. Light is continuous. We are not considering it as a continuous radiation which is falling on the metal surface. Instead of that, we are considering it as a packets of energy is incidenting. Okay, when one packet of energy is incidenting on it, then the light ray will be, the electron will be coming out. Okay, so as per Einstein, so that if I am giving an energy H nu, to the metal surface. This H nu energy is used for the a part of energy is used for taking out the electron from the metal surface and another part is used for the moment. So one part of energy is used for taking out the electron from the metal surface. From taking out electron from metal surface. And the next part is used for the movement of electron to the other plate. Okay, so this these are the uh, this total energy is dividing in these two ways. Okay, minimum energy required for the electron to come out from the metal surface is called as work function. Okay, work function is represented as phi zero. So that work function also energy only, right? So total energy which we are giving as H nu, if that for work function is represented as H nu zero. What is this nu zero? Nu zero is the minimum frequency, minimum frequency required. That is called as a threshold frequency okay then here moment of kinetic uh, the electron means kinetic energy that is half mv square okay so h nu is equal to h nu zero plus half mv square this is the equation of Einstein's photoelectric equation or we can write it as kinetic energy of the electron which is emitted from the metal surface will be equal to h into nu minus nu zero. Okay or we can write it as half mv maximum square. What is the maximum kinetic energy that will be equal to h into nu minus nu zero. Okay so whether if uh, so how we can relate this Einstein's photoelectric equation and the laws of photoelectric effect by experimental observation. From experimental observation we already studied that the light ray when it is incidenting on the metal surface it will come out the it will take out the electron from the metal surface right. So here also when the intensity of incident radiation is increasing according to that number of photoelectrons increasing. That was the first step. So as the intensity in experimental study, as the intensity increases, number of photoelectrons, number of electrons also will be increasing. That was the first one. Right. Here as the number of photons increases, as the packet of energy increases, according to that number of electrons emitted also will be increasing. So both are matching, right? Experimental study and the Einstein's photoelectric equation is matching by the first law. First law, as the intensity increases, number of electrons increases. Here they are saying as the photons increases, number of photons increases, according to that number of photons electrons in emitted also will be increasing. Now second one if nu is less than nu zero kinetic energy will be a negative value right nu less than nu zero. If this one is less then kinetic energy will be a negative value. Will it be possible because half a mass will never be negative. If velocity is negative also we are taking the square of that. So it will be positive value. So here this is not possible at all. That means frequency will never be less than nu zero. What is nu zero? That is threshold frequency. So a minimum frequency that is threshold frequency at least it requires at least threshold frequency to take out the electron from the metal surface that also matching with the experimental study. Right then next is if nu is greater than nu zero what will happen if nu greater than nu zero that is kinetic energy is positive value. So that means kinetic energy is depending on the frequency of incident radiation. 
that also matching so as soon as the light ray is incidenting or particular frequency of uh, the frequency of light ray or photon is incidenting on the metal surface electrons are coming out so it is an instantaneous process so all these laws are depending on see uh, is well in match with experimental study okay so einstein's photoelectric equation is very important kinetic energy equals h into nu minus nu zero it is based on the quantum theory of light okay clear so here Einstein's photoelectric equation we got it as kinetic energy equals h into nu minus nu zero. So those laws of photoelectric it is very important okay that those four laws. Then if V zero is the stopping potential then what will be the kinetic energy? Kinetic energy will be equal to QV. We already learned it as so it we can write it as EV zero. So here EV zero equals H into nu minus nu zero. V zero equals H by E into nu minus H by E into nu zero. From this this equation is resembling with the equation for a straight line that is y is equal to mx plus c so here m is the slope right so y intercept will be given as a intercept will be this constant value that is y intercept we will be getting it as equal to uh, h by e into nu zero here if we are drawing a graph with respect to frequency and v0 we will be getting a straight line graph because it's an equation for straight line right so here what is the slope which we are obtaining here slope of the graph we will be getting it as h by e okay so slope equals h by e therefore Planck's constant h we can find out as e into slope of the graph this is how we will be finding out the slope and now it is y intercept this is the constant which we are obtaining here c that is h by e into nu zero so what is this h nu zero h nu zero is the work function work function divided by e so what is how much you are getting it as work for this uh, y intercept that is equal into y this o c this o c value will be giving you the work function okay so this kind of questions numericals many times it is asked for the uh, public exam okay so in next class we will be doing some numericals relating to all those things and i hope today's uh, video is clear for you and here mainly we learned about the einstein's photoelectric equation h nu equals h nu zero phi zero plus uh, half mv square h nu equals phi zero plus half mv square and then another uh, one four laws which are the laws of photoelectric effect or photoelectric emission okay so this photo law uh, first one is it is depending on the intensity intensity is depending on the photo current then minimum frequency is required for the photoelectrons to come out from the metal surface that is threshold frequency then next we learned about the uh, say frequency is depending on the potential kinetic energy is depending on the frequency next is it is an instantaneous process okay so children all of you uh, this thorough with this uh, theory part next class we will be doing the numericals okay and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you for watching bye